buttercup has the sweetest smile. We all have our El Guapo. My El Guapo is named Carol. <laughs> Carol's El Guapo is named Dave. And together we're the Dave and Carol Morning Show. KB is here, and it's a pleasure and an honor. And KB looked at me and said right before well, this Mr. Is Martin Short came in. This Mar- is Marty goes. That you Mar- said this. Mar- Marty walks in, and, and, and KB's like, right before he walked in, he goes, I- I'm giddy like a schoolgirl because M- Martin <laughs> well, Short's going to be here. That's, you just, yeah, don't, yeah, you just even, don't dump that on the air. You're not uh, even a schoolboy. No, not a schoolboy. <laughs> just a schoolgirl. So you're just a school gal. Yeah. Well, it's you know, figuratively. <laughs> a school gal on well, the we've go. always thought he had issues, but, you know, that's, <laughs> that's neither here nor there. Medications. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, thank you so much for coming in. We hey, really appreciate it. This is beautiful. We're in the middle of a neighborhood. We are. And that's yeah. what's so great about it is because we can hear the dogs barking. You know, we can watch the neighbors' uh, yards be mowed. Uh, people, School buses. People breaking in, whatever it takes. Wow, you know? that sounds like an interesting day. It is. It's yeah. an awesome. It's just the morning. So when you went out to Hollywood, you did Three Amigos. Is that when you got, the, had you been on The Tonight Show prior to that or was it after that? Uh, no, I went on The Tonight Show a couple years after. I used to think it was hip to not do The Tonight Show, to just do Letterman. That's stupid. Yeah. And then, um, <laughs> and then, and then around 1988, the word was Johnny was going to retire, and uh, and I love Johnny Carson, but I'd never been on it, and I thought, oh, I'll, 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 I'll do Johnny Carson now. So when you, uh, so you do Johnny Carson, he becomes a fan, and then he invites you to the big celebrity poker game. Yeah. Can you share that story with our listeners? I was at this poker game. There's a poker game that still goes on in different forms, uh, but it was Steve Martin. And Carl Reiner and Johnny Carson and Neil Simon and Barry Diller, all just billionaire legends, and me, who had just bought a house based on three films I was going to make. And as I signed the mortgage, two films fell through. I mean, it was that kind of thing, you know? So it was like, and I was going there and I, and I said to Steve, So wait a second, how? He said, oh, Listen, the most anyone has ever, ever lost is $800, and the most anyone's ever won is about a thousand dollars so this is like you will be fine and within uh, three minutes i was down twelve hundred dollars i didn't even know what was happening and and then it was very hip and elegant you know and you we would we would uh play and then we broke for dinner and i was nervous and i'm losing and i'm sweating and i'm I trying to explain to my wife what happened and and then um at one point john and i'm nervous you know because all these people are famous and uh, Johnny Carson says something funny, and I laugh, and I know the potato has flown out of my mouth, <laughs> but I don't know where. <laughs> and I just continue to look around, and I see it's on Johnny's hand right here. Oh, yeah. Man. And so I didn't know whether to say anything, and then I l- <laughs> looked away. I looked back and was gone. I just assumed he ate it. <laughs> <laughs> and then later he said, you know, Marty Short, I ate that potato. He spit on me. <laughs> yeah. Yeah.